Thank you for joining us. Today we're here to discuss Just Eat, a success story that started off in the UK and expanded globally at a rapid pace. Hi, my name is Christian and I will be your moderator to ask three key questions to find out how Just Eat moved from a rising star status to a superstar status globally. But first, let's find out what Just Eat's business model is like. Hi, uh, Kate Flitter here. So Just Eat as a meal delivery service has a straightforward and often emulated business model. Just Eat maintains a website and mobile app that allows its users to browse nearby restaurants or offering delivery and takeaway menus. And the responsibility of delivering the food sits with the restaurant, allowing Just Eat to focus on maintaining their ordering platforms and signing up more restaurants to their delivery service. So Just Eat charges incoming restaurants a one-time sign-up fee of £699 and then a subsequent 10 to 12%, depending on the region, uh, of every order. Restaurants are prepared to pay these fees because Just Eat and its significant reach and market share will drive incremental order volume to a restaurant and allow them to increase their capacity beyond their brick-and-mortar location. That's Just Eat's business model. Thank you, Cade. So the first key question that, we're, that we come to is, you know, how does their business model create value for customers and for their suppliers. Thanks, Christian. Chris Reed here. Okay, so in order to approach this, firstly, we decided to go straight to the source and look at how Just Eat perceived themselves. We looked at the 2016 uh, annual report and through a typical kind of value steering wheel, identified that really Just Eat seal value in terms of scalability, technology, people, and brand. If we look at this next image now, okay, so we just still decided to distill this and look at how is value creation specifically created at Just Eat with these four facets in mind. So you'll see that for scalability, we identified financial, regulatory, and growth and asset utilization criteria, of which you'll see on the screen. The technology, innovation, and processes and controls were key value drivers. For people, efficiency and culture, and for brand, components such as adherence to their mantra, making people happy and being nimble and responsive. In order to more directly uh, respond to the question, then we obviously need to look at uh, how value uh, creation varied in impact between suppliers and customers. When we approached this, we quickly realized that we couldn't just look at this in a simple two-dimensional way. We needed to look at suppliers and customers as a combined group. And the color coding on the screen here, you'll see that supplier impacts from value is really created at the financial and regulatory level. Customer on the technology level from a processor control perspective, but suppliers and customers together as a group are impacted by all four value creation levers, including growth and asset utilization, innovation in technology, and the people efficiency and culture, uh, and brand also affects both customers and suppliers. Finally, the next image, ready to sum up, we looked at just these value impacts, so we tried to summarize them in one key succinct sentence. For customers, it's a delicious, convenient food exploration and delivery service through a company you trust and has brand equity. For suppliers, it's a no-budget little expense that delivers incremental revenue and net new customer traffic. For customers and suppliers combined, we looked at the net benefits uh, through leading edge expanded technology platform, that enable restaurants exposure that cannot otherwise be attained. Essentially, they're tech piggybacking to reach a new customer base. Thank you, Chris Reed. So let's move on to our second question. What should they do in terms of expanding business in the UK? Hi, Amanda here. To successfully identify potential steps for expansion in the UK, it's important to understand the business environment that Just Eats operates in. With low barriers to entry and minimal switching costs, there's several competitors in the UK competing for the customer's stomach. The market shows signs of a red ocean with these companies, having minimal differentiation and engaged in price wars. Agreed, Amanda. They are already investing in virtual reality ordering capability and integration of IoT devices such as Alexa. But they're also well positioned to invest into innovations such as the adoption of drone technology and future delivery mechanisms. That would lower operational costs compared to its competitors, automate delivery process, decrease carbon footprint, and facilitate collecting statistical data to improve and enhance delivery services. They can also create a strong culture and lifestyle around their service. Rewards to bloggers for good reviews, rewards to restaurants for great service or milestones, loyalty programs for food and customers, rankings of takeaways, and articles on restaurants can really enhance consumer experience. Some of these would increase switching costs and lock in customers. They could also establish a division for fresh meal kit deliveries by either partnering with third-party preparers or by taking full ownership of the operation. That should lure in healthy eaters and increase Just Eat's consumer base within the UK. Well, thank you, everyone. That concludes our brief analysis of our company of the day, Just Eat. We've gone over its business model and its impact, its uh, expansion strategy, and its growth potential. We hope you found it informative, and thank you for joining us.